This video will show you how to prepare your functional data for the Neuro Navigation Computer in the OR. First you have to make sure you have all your data loaded in Neuro3D and uh, if you click on the MPR tool you turn off the constant number of images first and you select that you want one millimeter thick just like the anatomic underlying data. Pick a number of slices, I usually use 160 and position those over the brain. You want to cover outside the brain so you can render the whole skull in the OR. And then you just tell them to make those and you see in the bottom right hand image it'll generate all that data. And then go ahead and save it. Now you have two options for fused or native. We're going to use native which gives you two DICOM data sets. Or the fused is just one um, image output that you can't really use for the OR. So native is where you want to go. And you have to load in 320 images for the two different data sets. Okay, it takes a couple minutes for that to save, so I just skipped ahead here. And you can see it's still writing out that data. And once that finishes, you can exit out of this, and we'll go and look at the output, which should be at the very bottom. It's adds a hundred or something to the study number and you can see the two different names so we have the anatomy underlying anatomy and then the activation map so let's look at the activation map load that into the regular viewer and as we scroll through you'll see the different colors we can turn on the pixel lens and get the intensity and that's 2500 there and the background is 2048 so most OR nav neuro navigation computers can't handle that number, so we have to subtract that out. So if we just go to subtract and a constant 2048, that'll set the background to zero. And uh, the way it names it, it tells you exactly what it's doing. And you can look and see how long it takes this to uh, calculate, which takes a few seconds. So most uh, neuronavs are swamped by such a large number, so by removing this we'll make the activations in the 200 range or so, 2 to 300 range, and uh, we can then overlay that on the anatomy scan and keep the DICOM data so that the computer in the OR can use that. So now there's our subtracted data, we can take that data and the anatomy data and add those two together. They're co-registered so we know we can just add them right up and the maps will um, be in the same place as they were in the Neuro 3D tool. So again this takes a little bit of time but you'll see the blobs start to show up here. There's a bright one there. Uh, they're actually white. The yellow is just from the highlighting tool of the recording software. So these will all be grayscale. And that just takes another second or so to finish and you'll see it show up. And right there. Okay. So now we have uh, the data that we can put in the OR. So that value isn't very much different than the scalp, but most uh, neuro uh, operating room techs can uh, highlight that and segment it and show it really nice to the surgeon. So that's how you would get it into the OR.